and the sun in the age of Taurus. Today, Israel is trying to bring back the good old days of bull worship. But it's, it's impossible because Taurus is gone. We're in the age of Pisces. And they want to go back to the old days, the way we worship God in the old days was the, the golden calf. We're in Pisces and we're at the end of Pisces. That's why the Christians talk about the end times we're living in, the last days we're living in. The last days of what? The last days of Pisces. So now we have to find the perfect bowl. The Temple Institute says that you need to find a red heifer that's born in Israel, and it has to be a particular bowl. The Israeli government is planning a new temple coming in Israel. And of course, it will be assumed that they're going to go back to all of the old ways of the tourist to bowl. Well, so therefore they got this Jewish girl picking fleas off of a cow because they want to make sure the bowl is going to be completely clean, look his best, smell good, so that they can cut his head off and bring about the dispensation of Taurus to bowl again. And at the same bull and Christian churches also, Christians are equally as ignorant and ill-informed about their foundations of their religion. Now you'll see this one shows in the yellow square, the bull. They, the, the Catholic Church in the Vatican realizes that there was a time, 2,150 years long, when God was ruling the earth through Taurus the bull. And this is where we get our idea of holy cow. Let's look at another zodiac symbol in religious history. This is very important in relation to Jewish history. Aries the Ram is the next constellation after Taurus the Bull. The Jewish system of theology understood that 2,150 years has passed, now we move into the next age that Moses brought us into, because Moses brought us into a new dispensation. And when the Jewish people would not accept the idea at the time, we are told in the Bible that Moses became so frustrated he threw down and broke the law. So he was the first lawbreaker. The astrological time of Aries was from 2000 BC to 1 AD. That's a 2150 year uh, period of time that the Jews were now to worship their God in the age of Aries, the ram. In Egypt, of course, they have the ram. You'll see the, uh, the, the sun in the age of Aries, the ram. The ram god is, is very famous all over Egypt. And Aries, the ram, is very important not only in Egypt, but in the Old Testament Hebrew. You'll still see it today, Aries, the ram. That's why Jews blow the ram's horn. Instead of parading around with the golden calf and the bull, now today they blow the ram's horn. And so they don't realize that not only the Jews blow the ram's horn, but there are many cultures around the world that blew the ram's horn during the age of Aries the ram. That's why today we have the shofar or the ram's horn. You go back to the Vatican and you will see the same painting uh, that was with Taurus the bull. Then you go back and see as uh, Aries the ram. Uh, since AD 325, we have been living in the sign of the age of Pisces. Pisces the two fish. Christianity is the focal point of what we call Pisces. Pisces represents religion, a different kind of religion. Before it was Judaism. Now there's Christianity dominates the world. 
And so it has nothing to do with the Christians uh, fighting Jews or the Jews hating Christians. That has to do with the symbolism in which the world is living. And we happen to be living in the age of Pisces, the two fish. So Pisces is the age of a new religion, the beginning of Christianity. Christianity today is simply the sun in the age of Pisces. There's so many articles talking about the zodiac in relation to Jesus. They don't realize Jesus is the sun, a metaphor, S-U-N. And it's talking about his 12 apostles or his 12 followers or the 12 signs of the zodiac. Jesus with his 12 apostles, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the four seasons. And this is why there are three months in each season. Christianity today is replete but saying that we are living in the last days. We're living in the end times. Of course we're living in the last days of Pisces. It's gonna be the age of Aquarius. This is the water bearer. Very important point here that proves what we're talking about as astrology. And we are now facing the next 2,150 years when the sun will officially be in the constellation of Aquarius, the water bearer. And so in the New Testament, in the book of Luke 22, the apostles are asking Jesus, now that you're going to die, where are we going to go? We are your 12 followers, but where are we gonna go? And so Jesus answers them in, in the book of Luke 22, 10, where Jesus said unto them, behold, when you enter into the city, there shall a man meet you bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he enters in. It's the house of Aquarius. And it's Aquarius is the water bearer. But we know that this was talking about an astrological sign. Why? Because men never carried water ever. In the ancient world, that was something that a man would never do, is to carry water. That was a woman's job, period. So why did Jesus say, look for the man with the water pitcher? That's an astrological sign. The whole of the Bible, both Old and New Testament, is a metaphor, as a symbolic story. And to Jesus' right, there's the first apostle to his right, is a woman. A lot of people do not know that one of the 12 apostles of Jesus was a woman. Why? Because there is a zodiological sign called Virgo. Virgo was a virgin. That's why you have to have one woman in there to represent Virgo. The 12 apostles are the 12 signs of the zodiac. That's well, why I think it's important to bring this out, that people need to know there's nothing wrong with the zodiac. The Bible, both Old and New Testament, says God created it. So if you're calling down evil upon the zodiac as a work of the devil, that's not what the scriptures say at all. And like the scripture says in the Bible, when God said to his people, do not call down evil upon something I have cleansed. When I make something, don't you call it evil. Well, this is what I'm saying that we need to keep in mind today. When you talk about astrology and the zodiac, God made that according to the scriptures. So we see the man with the water pitcher is all over the world in Christian churches. But the Christians don't know that. They don't understand what these symbols mean. Now, as we begin 